Welcome to our service, uh, Stations of the Cross, for this Monday in Holy Week. So we gather our thoughts in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus told his disciples, If anyone wants to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up the cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake, will find it. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, grant that we may follow the example of his patience, his humility, and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. On screen now you should see some words as we commit ourselves to an act of contrition. O oh my God, my Redeemer, behold me here at thy feet. From the bottom of my heart I am sorry for all my sins, because by them I have offended thee, who art infinitely good. I will die rather than offend thee again. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless your name, because your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus in agony in the Garden of Gethsemane. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass for him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not the what I want, but what you want. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you entered the garden of fear and faced the agony of your impending death. Be with those who share that agony and face death unwillingly this day. You shared our fear and knew the weaknesses of our humanity. Give strength and hope to the dispirited and despairing. To you, Jesus, who sweated blood, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus is betrayed by Judas, a reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Immediately, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, and with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs, from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when he came, he went up to him at once and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid hands on him and arrested him. Lord Jesus, you were betrayed by the kiss of a friend. Be with those who are betrayed and slandered and falsely accused. You knew the experience of having your love thrown back in your face for mere silver. Be with families which are torn apart by mistrust or temptation. 
To you, Jesus, who offered your face to the betrayer, be honour and glory with the Father and, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus is condemned by the Sanhedrin, a reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Now the chief priests and the whole council were looking for testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but they found none. For many gave false testimony against him, and their testimony did not agree. Some stood up and gave false testimony against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and in three days I will build another not made with hands. But even on this point, their testimony did not agree. Then the high priest stood up before them and asked Jesus, have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But he was silent and did not answer. Again, the high priest asked him, are you the Messiah, the son of the blessed one? Jesus said, I am. And you will see the son of man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, Why do we still need witnesses? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? All of them condemned him as deserving death. Lord Jesus, you were the victim of religious bigotry. Be with those who are persecuted by small-minded authority. You faced the condemnation of fearful hearts deepen the understanding of those who shut themselves off from the experience and wisdom of others. To you, Jesus, unjustly judged victim, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. At that moment, the cock crowed for the second time. Then Peter remembered that Jesus had said to him, Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. And he broke down and wept. We pray. Lord Jesus, as Peter betrayed you, you experience the double agony of love rejected and friendship denied. Be with those who know no friends and are rejected by society. You understood the fear within Peter. Help us to understand the anxieties of those who fear for their future. To you, Jesus, who gazed with sadness at your lost friend, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus is judged by Pilate. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Pilate asked them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him! So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them. 
and after that flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Lord Jesus, you were condemned to death for political expediency. Be with those who are imprisoned for the convenience of the powerful. You were the victim of unbridged injustice. Change the minds and motivations of oppressors and exploiters to your way of peace. To you, Jesus, innocent though, con though condemned, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus scourged and crowned with thorns. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. And they clothed him in a purple cloth, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him, and they began saluting him. Hail, King of the Jews. They struck his head with his reed, spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. Lord Jesus, you faced the torment of barbaric punishment and mocking, trying to be with those who cry out in physical agony and emotional distress. You endured abuse. Be with those who face torture and mockery in our world today. To you, Jesus, the King crowned with thorns, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus carries the cross. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him to out to crucify him. Mark 15:20. Lord Jesus, you carried the cross through the rough streets of Jerusalem. Be with those who are loaded with burdens beyond their strength. You bore the weight of our sins when you carried the cross. Help us to release and extend and the cost of your love for us. To you, Jesus, burn a cross, not your own. Be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry the cross. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. And we pray, Lord Jesus, you were worn down by fatigue. Be with those whom life drains all energy. You needed the help of a passing stranger. Give us the humility to receive aid from others. To you, Jesus, weighed down with exhaustion and in need of help, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us.
A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. A great number of people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills cover us. If they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Lord Jesus, the women of Jerusalem wept for you, moved us to tears at the plight of the broken in our world. You embraced the pain of Jerusalem, the city of peace. Bless Jerusalem this day and lead you to the path of profound peace. To you, Jesus, the King of Peace, who wept for the city of peace, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus is crucified. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. And they crucified him and divided his clothes amongst them, casting lots to decide what each should take. We pray, Lord Jesus, you bled in pain as the nails were driven into your flesh. Transform through the mysteries of your love the pain of those who suffer. To you, Jesus, our crucified Lord, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Station 11. Jesus promises <clears throat> the kingdom to penitent thief. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept not deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God? since you are under the same sentence of condemnation, and we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Luke 23 verses 39-43 Lord Jesus, if even in your deepest agony you listen to the crucified thief. Hear us as we unburden to you our deepest fears. You spoke words of love in your honour of death. Help us to speak words of life to a dying world. To you, Jesus, who offer hope to the hopeless, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus on the cross, his mother and his friend. A reading from the Gospel according to John. When Jesus saw his mother 
and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his own home. We pray. Lord Jesus, your mother and dearest friend stayed with you to the bitter end. Yet even while racked with pain, you ministered to them. Be with all broken families today and care for those who long for companionship. You cared for your loved ones, even in your death throes. Give us love for one another that is stronger even than the fear of death. To you, Jesus, loving in the face of death, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and for ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus dies on the cross. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, listen, he is calling for Elijah. And someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. Lord Jesus, you died on the cross and entered the bleakest of all circumstances. Give courage to those who die at the hands of others. In death you entered into the darkest place of all. Illumine our darkness with your glorious presence. To you, Jesus, your lifeless body hanging on the tree of shame, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus laid in the tomb, a reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Then Joseph bought, brought a linen cloth and, t- and taken down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mark 15 verse 46 Lord Jesus, Lord of life, you became as nothing for us, but with those we have we feel who feel worthless and has nothing in the world's eye. You were laid in a cold, dark tomb and hidden from sight. Be the, with all who suffer and die in secret, hidden from the eyes of the world. To you, Jesus, your rigid body imprisoned in a tomb, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, Holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. And so thank you for sharing this journey to the cross with our Lord this evening. I hope you found time for reflection and some thought about that awful journey that Jesus took. So we begin now to conclude our prayers with the words that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you can ransom for God's saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom of priests, serving our God. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, and made us a kingdom of priests to stand and to serve before our God, to him who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb, be praise and honour, glory and might, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May God this night bless us, that in us we may find love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen.